Star Ocean, Anamnesis. Hey guys, Claudius here with an in-depth beginner's guide for Star Ocean Anamnesis. This game could be very overwhelming for players who are just starting out due to the many mechanics this game has, and hopefully the tips and tricks shared in this video will allow you to have an efficient starting out. So when you just start out this game, you'll be prompted to download 400-ish megabytes of the game before you can start playing the game, and you'll be shown this several characters profile, basically there are 5 type of characters, an attacker, which is denoted by a red crystal, a defender, which is denoted by a yellow crystal, a sharpshooter, which is denoted by a blue color crystal, an invoker, or a magician, which is denoted by a purple color crystal, and a healer, which is denoted by a white color crystal. So an attacker is normally a melee attack, defender will draw the attacks from the enemy, and you can just save your parties from being attacked with your defender drawing their attacks. Sharpshooter will attack enemy from long range. Invoker has a really really high attack damage but low HP. And the healer here, which is a healer, healer will allow will heal the team. And you are gonna give, be given a chance to choose one of these five starting out, and these are quite good too to have. I'll talk more about this later on. This game starts out by showing you the gameplay of the game on how you can fight in this battle here. So you're gonna have three of the five star base character that you can try in this very first battle you can see here you move up and tap to have a normal attack you have to watch that yes you can move around here and you can see that the enemy has a green arrow that's the enemy that you'll be attacking by tapping the screen and on the right hand side here you can see that the one i'm tapping that's the that's the ability slot that you can use. You're gonna be using an ability to attack the enemy. So when the enemy has a green color, it means that the enemy is not gonna attack you, but when it turns red, it means that the enemy is targeting you. So just you can keep using an ability that will use an AP. You can see it starts with 100. If I keep using ability, it will diminish, depletes the AP until I can use it anymore, but if when I move around, I can replenish the AP. There's also this thing called Rush on the left hand side. You can see here, Rush is a really really special skill for, for each character. This will unleash a very strong damaging skill, as you can see here. And that's kind of the basic of the fight. And I'm going to talk more about the combat later on. And after the introduction to combat, you're going to be able to summon your very first unit. So this is the place where you should reroll if you do not get the unit that you want or you should be getting. So first here, they give you this sp summon special character, and you can select one of these five star base unit for free. There are two type of five star base in this game. One is a non ace character, and the other is an ace character. So an ace character will have, they will have more or better stats than a non ace ones, but they require more materials to level up. But they are much stronger than the, than the non ace ones. And these five units happen to be the ace character, and you can get this for free. Like I mentioned earlier here, this is an attacker, denoted by a red color. Defender, denoted by a yellow color. Blue color is the sharpshooter. Invoker is the purple color. Oh, and the green color is the healer. So, if you are proficient enough, you can get an attacker, which is strong in melee attack. But as a beginner, 
you probably want to have at least one defender because when you're still starting to learn in this real-time battle you're gonna have you're probably gonna get hit a lot by the enemy so you would want to have one defender at least high HP high defense make you survive longer and sharpshooter also very good you can shoot enemy from far away you can try to evade enemies from far away too invoker very high damage but low HP if you're not careful you can die easily and healer that's that will not go wrong you can join multiplayer and they will welcome healer because they can heal but when you're going solo you need more damage dealer and out of these five I'd recommend to get Maria the sharpshooter because this is the most feature proof of the unit and you can see here that each unit has the things called talents and battle skills so talents are something that when the game starts the combat starts you're gonna have this talent here that will help improve either your or your party's fighting ability here so first this Maria has a talent that will boost damage by 3% to your entire party so your entire party will be able to deal more damage and herself she can get a 10% damage taken so this is why she's good and the other one that you need to pay attention is the battle skill it consists of rush the special skill from the particular unit here as you can see and this Maria has a really strong rush it will remove the buff from all enemies and also will boost critical hit chance by 40% to the entire party for 20 seconds so when you are rushing yeah, you will have to accumulate your rush gauge and then you rush basically critical chance will allow you to bypass the enemy's defense some enemy has a really high defense and you need this critical hit chance and it's gonna be very useful for your team you can go through the other units bell skill and this bell skill here attack power times 200% attack power times 340% attack times 190% so you would want to focus on boosting your attack with Maria okay let's pick Maria here so this is the summoning animation and you can see here there's gonna be a text of galaxy rare a five star so when the galaxy rare you can see is in a rainbow color it shows that this is an ace unit but if the galaxy rare of five star just shows in a plain yellow color it is a non ace five star base but both of them are still good enough okay you have summon character Okay, this is how you summon. Okay, so one thing you note here, this game will give you a free daily summon every day. And you're just starting out here, you get a login bonus. Be sure to log in every day to get the gems. Okay, so I'm gonna not talk about star mission now. So the other one that you need to do here, we're gonna focus on rerolling. You get the free daily summon every day for any unit and this is where you can draw it recommended draws it shows that zero gems draw one one free per day and this is where you summon you're gonna summon it it's gonna be really great if you can get your a five star base here it's gonna be even better if you can get a five star ace unit just need to be sure that you summon every day because like free unit is good there you go I get another five star unit this is very lucky of me so Emerson is another sharpshooter the talent is inspired action it will improve the hit counter plus one by one for the party and their levels courage additional hit that deals 10% damage during normal attack so it will deal more damage for himself 
this is really lucky for you to get and the other one here you're gonna be able to summon so for rerolling earlier I mentioned that you'd want to get one defender so I would recommend you to reroll until you can get one defender and here there's this banner here summer Miuria this is a really good banner to have and Miuria is a defender also which is better than the other one that you saw Victor this one has a higher stats and this one can act as an attacker also higher attack higher defend but Victor has better talents of course so let's try I would recommend you to reroll until you can get one defender either Victor or Summer Miuria here this is a limited unit you're probably not gonna be get this getting this unit anymore after this banner is over let's see where you can get that again sharpshooter for the damage dealer that will improve the attack due to the critical boost and try to get a defender in this summon here if you can get a defender through that free daily summon then that is perfectly fine as well okay, let's just skip everything okay you get another you get two five star base units here anyway I know that I mentioned that you'd want to get defender here but since you are getting in total four five star base units with only 5,000 gems then you know it's some things for you to consider that you do not wanna reroll so this is summer Mickey it's a limited banner here the talents are it will deal more damage 15% to the party undivided attention attack damage taken 10% when in front of target and your entire bar can survive a little attack by 70% when their HP is at 30% and of course it will boost critical chance, critical chance by 10% when blindsiding the enemy by 10% that's pretty nice and her rush is it will boost the critical hit chance by 10% and the critical hit damage by 40% so once you bypass the enemy's defense your hit damage will be boosted by 40% more and apparently she's gonna fall off the team soon and this is Raimi her talent in ENT damage is kind of a magic damage taken will be reduced by 3% to the entire party which is really good for you to have and deal 10% more damage and nullify status ailments for 120 seconds so it's really really good for herself though the rush is it will nullify status ailments and recover 15% HP so this Raimi will act as a secondary healer so rush is something that you need to be paying attention more as well as the talent too okay and as you notice here I got four sharpshooters and when that happens is that you'll be kind of fighting all of your resources because all sharpshooters will take the same resources there you can see let's see let's take a look at the character here so these are let me here okay sharpshooter you can see there I have four five star base units and all of them are sharpshooters and they are denoted by blue color so you know to level up the units and to raise the rarity or to augment the units you'll need blue color crystals to do that and they're gonna be fighting for the same resources anyway moving back on this game is not only about drawing characters but also about drawing powerful weapons and they have the gacha for you to draw weapons here so this is the character draw this is a weapon draw and right now there is this special event where you can get a guaranteed 5 star base weapon here okay let's take the jump first so this is where you can see the achievement you can tap to get the achievement here the rewards 
can see the reward is L red crystal so this is a crystal for an attacker a red color base and the one below there is the yeah you can see here L purple crystal L yellow crystal L green crystal so those are as you can see purple is for invoker yellow is for defender green is for healer and blue color is for sharpshooter which is uh, gonna fight for that resource there and you can get the achievement here by tapping it one by one remember that once you tap this you still do not receive that reward yet okay the only way for you to get the reward here is by going to the gifts icon and actually collect it okay so yeah the gifts aren't technically yours until you accept them so just remember that they do not last forever and see what do you have here 50 stamina ticket so elder lot rapier is a weapon five star weapon for an invoker launch coin Anti-poison amulet, rainbow crystal, platinum ingot, whelk, and vase. So this game, when you're just starting out, at least right now, this game will give out vase for free, and he is a really strong invoker to have, along with his five-star weapon, Elder Lord Rapier. Let's accept all of them so you can get the gems too, because you need to do two things here when you're starting out and when you're rerolling. First, try to get the defender, and second, try to draw for the weapon here. So this is the free weapon you can get, draw it. By the way, the best weapon here is that Ryugumaru. This is for your defender and for your invoker. So this this summon will only use up 3000 and you're getting gonna get a guaranteed 5 star weapon and that's actually what you really want for that guaranteed 5 star weapon. And apparently you got 2 5 star weapon in this one. This must be a really lucky call and Ryugumaru again is the weapon that you would want to have for 5 star base. It will imbue lightning attack to your unit and absorb 15 damage of the normal attack so this is gonna be really good for defender fighting up close and you're gonna soak that damage there and the other one is servo claw is a weapon for a fist user and there's a unit an attacker with a fist weapon that you wanna use okay so this is actually a really good items to have for a reroll, although all you have are just sharpshooters and you're gonna be fighting for those. And the other one, when you're starting out, you need to go to shop, you need to make sure all of these three. You can see there are many different things here, item exchange, And in this item exchange, here are, here are some of the several things that you can exchange your gifts for. And since you're just starting out, you, you were given this one launch coin from the beginning. So you're given that one launch coin. And you can exchange that one coin for any of these items. And this will definitely depend on the type of character you have. Since earlier you got yourself a Maria, this would be the weapon that you want. Umbral Blast, 489 attack and intelligence 486. And you can see here damage dealt plus 15% when attack hit by multiple enemies. And also there's this Crimson Squall plus 20% damage. Any of the weapons that you get may have a character specific skill boost like this one Crimson, Crimson Squall is the skill from Maria. So since you got Maria, you need to equip her with um, Umbral Blast and the Crimson Squall from Maria will have a 20% additional more damage. So that just kind of tie in nicely here guys. 
very very nicely so just go get yourself your umbral blast for your maria and hopefully you can get the weapons for the other sharpshooters you got four of them later on okay so this basically those are the kind of things you need to pay attention when you're re-rolling so remember the weapon draw remember the character draw and that's it and here is the place where you can edit your party so you will need ideally have five uh, three five star base character to start out with and over here you can just pick your Maria and also you, can, you should exchange your unit here hmm I remember there was a vase let's see here Okay, so just be sure to use a 5 star base character on your team here. Okay, I filtered it out. Okay, let's edit the party here. Okay, Mari a sharpshooter. I'm gonna replace the others. So first, I'll be bringing Faisi. This is a free, non five star base unit, and this one is actually gonna be future proof too, due to his own specific weapon. His own specific weapon will boost his own intelligence stats quite significantly. Plus, you got his weapon for free. The talent it will use AP cost. AP cost is the one they use to skill. And the other one out of all of this, I would probably pick Raimi. Well, you will need a healer here. So, yeah, healer is what you'll be needing. And, okay, so the way you want to go about by the doing this type of setup is to look at the talent that will improve your damage as well as the rush kill that can help you heal when you're fighting. So you probably only need one sharpshooter. You don't need a lot of them. And you just need to choose which sharpshooter you would want to use. Okay, this talent will help you boost damage to the party 30% and reduce damage again for self. And this unit the talent is to reduce the intelligence damage, so magic damage to the party, so really good to have. It will boost damage 10%, but we already have 30% damage increase from Maria. It also nullifies status ailments 120%. And the rush from this unit will nullify status ailments and recover 15% HP. So this is going to be a really good one to have. But the attack power, the rush is only has a 2500% multiplier. Face 3000 boost to intelligence and AP cost 3%. Anyway, the reason why you know bring face is because he has higher damage and also at the same time he is cheap to level up compared to others. Just let me show you here what to see. And this is the place where you can change gear and skill you can see let's take a look gear and skill here you're gonna be using Maria you bought the weapon for Maria already so let's use the weapon here just auto equip because she's gonna be equipped with the umbral blast the her own five star weapon and also there is no weapon for her yet okay let's here why you need to use face? Because you already receive his own weapon from the gift. That's a welcome gift for you. A free 5 star weapon for this unit. As well as the unit himself. Oh, this is the weapon just draw. Let's just pick Elder Rep here. Because not all of you can get Ryugumaru, the weapon. Okay, and let's take a look at the status enhancement, and I'm gonna show you the difference between a rare 
are an non rare an, an ace and a non ace so Marie is an ace unit you can see here let's say if I use so Ra Platinum Prism and Ra Bronze Prism so this will give EXP to your unit and yeah this will apply for any color unit you have any type of rolls you can see here from level 1 it becomes level 18 when using one of this item here and for a non ace character when you enhance it it becomes level 23 you can see that he is much cheaper for you to level up so if you run out of resource you might want to level up face first because of the more damage but he has low HP so it's hard to fight with him when you're starting out because you will keep dying and most multiplayer players will not like him if you're low, low level. So, so that's about it. So gonna and after this, you need to check this star mission. So you have to clear missions three times to get additional rewards. Just be sure to clear these missions one by one. But after you are done with the equippings and re-rollings and all and all, what you'd want to do is actually clear all the missions. You are currently on rank 1. At the top right hand corner, you can see you have, you are on rank 1 and your stamina is 10 out of 10. What I would recommend here is actually for you to finish up all your missions here. So this is chapter 1 or planet 1. And I would recommend you to clear all the missions to planet 4 all of them so that you can get more stamina you rank up and you can use them all and you yeah, just rush to get that rank up here and when you're completing the missions from chapter 1 and chapter 2 you can go to bridge again here this here you can see you can unlock this event called Maze of Tribulations, as well as events. So now I've rushed through the first two planets, so I'm onto chapter 3, or planet 3 right now. More events are unlocked. So the first one that you can see here, you can play the Maze of Tribulations. You definitely, this is definitely one of the missions that you need to clear and they are giving you some unique unique uh, event here so okay basically here you can only play this in the maze of tribulations up to three times per day and during the first few floors here the enemies are pretty simple you can just auto the fight rather easily here and I'm level 40 yeah so let's do the first one here and I'm gonna pick the strongest friend available I have and just clear this through. So what this Maze of Tribulation does is that it will give you a coin when you're done and you're gonna be able to exchange that coin with rewards. So level 1, you can win by autoing. By the way, on the top left hand of the of the screen you can see there's an auto or manual manual you'll be able to play this manually and attack it manually here auto is fine for this remember you have to complete all these three everyone because the reward is pretty awesome and I'm gonna show you the reward the higher floor in the maze of tribulations will yield more coin rewards so just try to clear the new one each time instead of repeating the one you have here since you only have three chances and of course, in order to do so, in order to be able to clear this higher floor, you need to have a strong team of your own, but we're gonna cover that later on. And you can re exchange the coin reward from this maze of tribulation here in the shops. There's this item exchange. And this item exchange is actually the place where you can get good items, either from events. Like this here, Marizaria coin is the reward you can get from events. That is gonna expire soon. Same here, Coral Crimson. You can get reward from this event here. 
Frost Coins Exchange is also a really tough boss that you have to fight, and you'll be able to get these items. Crystal Coin Exchange, same one, a tough boss, a tough boss, bosses. And this MOT Coin Exchange is the place where you're gonna change your exchange, your coin rewards from the Maze of Tribulations. And look at this, you are going to be able to exchange your coins for gems. And gems is actually the in-game currency for Star Ocean Anamnesis. They are pretty generous enough to give you that, and it expires in one day. Yeah, so I'm just going to get whatever gems I can get with my coin rewards here. And mission ticket here times 10, I'm gonna tell you what this is gonna be used for. But that's how you can use your coin rewards from the Maze of Tributions and why Maze of Tributions is very important to have. Precisely of this free in-game cards you can get and generous one at that. The next immediate thing you should be doing is to strengthen your unit and equipments for both other players sake in the multiplayer as well as your own so this means that you need to build one unit to be as strong as possible so this is for other multiplayer sake because most of the game would be playing you be playing in multiplayer in the game and when you join a multiplayer room against tough bosses as a weak unit they'll most probably disband a unit so you cannot clear the content anyway and also, this is for your sake because the higher floor in the Maze of Tribulation is going to be really hard without strong units. And also, the story is even tougher as you progress toward the fourth chapter. You cannot just keep autoing during the fourth chapter, you may even die in between with that early strong unit. And the other reason is this one here. You can see that there's a text on loan on this unit, Maria. On loan would, be, would mean that you are gonna be loaning this unit to other people and whenever somebody use your unit or loan your unit on their fight you're gonna be getting a support medal which you can use that support medal to use so if you're a weak unit if your unit is weak nobody is gonna use it your unit use your unit as a friend and you'll not be getting any support medal here as you can see here I get zero support medal because there isn't anybody out there who is using this unit this is a new account definitely and with the support medals you can draw and summon all of this thing here hundred of them and there are three five star ace character ticket which means that you can summon a definite five star unit which is ace character and this is definitely the ultimate price that you want here there's of course a limit of the support model you can receive each day, but eventually you can clear all of this box. And now going back to strengthening your unit here. You need to pick one unit that you want to build. You can see here face with by just playing the story missions, you're gonna be able to level up your face because he is a non-ace character and requires a much less resource to level up. So you need to max level his unit. Let's see here, status enhancement. And yeah, you can level up here under status enhancement and use this platinum prism or raw gold prism or this raw silver prism. And what this does is that it will give you experience. And also there's a specific color prism like this blue B gold prism, blue gold prism, which is reserved for Sharpshooter, all the blue colors are for sharpshooter, but you can see why using the corresponding color prism is important here. Let's try this one here. Blue prism stone. Okay, let's try here. Blue prism stone. Ten of them. When you fit it to Maria, you can see that the experience gain is 1,500 for the blue prism stone. And if you're using other color prism stone, which is not bronze or gold or silver, let's say purple color, you only get 1000 EXP. So basically by using the corresponding prism 
to enhance your unit or to level up your unit, you are going to be getting 50 percent mo more experience to your unit. And let's do this later on. So first, you need to level this max level your character. And in this case, I've already maxed face to level 60. And after that, you'd want to increase the level cap of face to level 70. And in order to do that, this is what you need to do. You have to augment your character. So augmenting means that you can increase the cap. You need to level it up to the 60 and then you can increase the cap to level 70. And by going to level 70, of course, you'll have a better stats as well as improved talent here talent will improve you got a new battle skill as well so very important and these are the materials you'll need to augment your unit there are too many materials here just in case if this is what you want to do and the other way to strengthen your unit is to limit break it so they are augment, you improve the level cap and add more skills and there's limit break. So limit breaking a unit will improve your status and you can limit break a unit up to 10 times until level 10. You can see here even at current level the HP will improve, attack improve, intelligence improve, everything will improve. And to limit break you will require this material. This is actually a very rare material to have and you should be careful on which unit you want to limit break due to its rarity you can get this from event or from rewards but not a lot of them so you need to be careful and this is not that grindable for this limit break or you can summon the same type of unit if you summon another phase that unit will be automatically limit broken and after you reach, you reach the max limit break that additional phase you get will be be turned into this limit break material to limit break other units. So two ways to strengthen a unit is first to limit break and then to augment it. You can also improve the stats. There is a yeah you can see here each unit has HP stat, attack stats, intelligence stats. You can use a seed to improve each of these stats and you can farm it too slowly and then next we are going to talk about equipment also the same you can enhance your equipment and to level it up so you can level up your equipment here by feeding this with lower level equipment let's just try this just fit it with level 2 and level 3 equipment to increase this umbler blast strength and this weapon can also be limit broken, not limit broken, yeah, it can be limit broken or you can increase the level cap from 10 to up to 20. You can fit the same type, you know, if you can enhance this Umbra Blast with Narrative of Umbra, or of Umbra Blast to increase the cap. Or there are some weapons that can use a particular cap increase weapon. Let's see, I'm going to show you here. You can either use it on the same type of weapon to increase the cap, or in this case, let's see here. Okay, here. So you can see there's this weapon called Blue Wave Sword. This is a weapon for a unit, Summer Miuria. And you can increase the cap of this sword with this enhancement. Item. A small hammer with crimson and cordial enhanced crown bow and blue wave sword. So you can get a cap increase through the use of this S coral crimson cap increase. So that's how you can increase the weapon. And the same with you can also enhance accessory. You can there's a items to enhance accessory. It's called thread. So what you need to do next is to spend your time to build the units you want as well as the corresponding weapon. 
There are two ways for you to level up or augment your units. So the first is grinding. This is just like many other events where you need to farm. And you can go here, farm. And you can see here, you know, they have a lot of events here. So this is actually this is the first event. Planet of the Deep Blue Sea is actually a limited time event. Crystal Guardian, Exterminations, you can get this for rewards but we're gonna focus on the one below them. So hammer mission. So if you fight here, this will give you hammers which can be used to increase the level of your, of your equipment and weapons, of your weapons. They also have a different type of enhancement which is called threat mission that will be used to improve or enhance your accessories. You would probably want that because you cannot get threat through story mode, but you can still get equipment to enhance weapons through hammer, I mean through story event. And this hammer mission, actually you can see here, you can, I'm gonna show you one of this one here. Uh, let's see here, let's join lobby, and I'm gonna do auto match. And there are a couple of reasons why you don't do multiplayer. You can see there's a rookie symbol, rookie symbol here. As a rookie, you're gonna be getting additional additional it's called rookie bonus so the more rookie you have in a team the more there's a chance of you gonna, gonna get more bonus and of course if you're a host you're gonna get a host bonus too but you can just get by the this kind of event the farming event because it's pretty easy but for a tougher boss they do not want you at lower level which is why we want to enhance everything here farm for a lot of things for the next few days to get your hammer and to get your thread to enhance accessories as well as to get prism prism material to improve your units level so this is on auto my my unit is very weak so while we are in battle you can see here on the screen you can see the face of the unit and it looks like they are drowned in water you can see here let me stop the manual so the that drowning in water is the rush gotch so what you want to do is actually to have a quick tap or quick hit so that you can reach rush quickly and have more damage so let me handle this manually it's easier for me to get rush you can see and once I hit that I just type rush rush and I can hit it more strong but compared to the other unit's character I only deal 37,000 damage which is very very bad comparable to the other one with 80,000 damage and the good thing about this hammer mission is that there are gonna be a lot of people who is doing this mission so even when you do not use your own energy you can use other people's energy to get hammer to improve your team so you can keep playing multiplayer here and this gives you B gold prism which is the prism to improve to give experience to sharpshooter which is good well, P purple silver prism and the hammer to improve the equipment so by doing this one event you're gonna be able to get the items to enhance your experience as well as the items to enhance your weapons level the next one is let's see here we have let's go back here we have ingot mission so ingot is for you to get fall which is the gold currency for the game well right now I don't really need this one okay now going back to improving the level of your team so you can see here they have this unlock event mission we'll go over there later and all types enhancement missions so here you're gonna be able to get the items to give experience as well as the Aukman the Aukman is to increase the cap of your unit from 60 to 70 you'll be able to get a mineral here for all type of characters and this one the one below here is for specific characters so defender and healer so they only have defender healer they are kind of like keep changing it and switching it for other type of units 
Right now his defender will last until for will last for the next 48 minutes. Once it's over, it'll be changed. Probably it'll be changed to sharpshooter. Just just uh, go with the multiplayer there. You know, I noticed that for healer there aren't that many people with who is gonna want to enhance or augment their healers. But for sharpshooter there are a lot of people who want to do that. So you just go there. This is the place where you can farm. So no. So when the sharpshooter comes, just enhance there if your Murray is your focus. For attacker and defender, just focus there if it's your main one too. And this is the other one. Let's say, let's say right now you wanna enhance sharpshooter, but there isn't any sharpshooter or pro invoker, but there isn't any enhancement event. You can go to this one here, unlock event mission. This is this will show you all of the available enhance and augment mission for all for all type of character unit. So let's try the purple one here. You know, I'm gonna do single player. No, actually, I'm gonna do multiplayer. I'll be creating a lobby. So I'm gonna host a room this time. And to play in this fight, you'll need stamina as well as mission ticket. You need one and you got 10 from the event and just record anyone. So this is a pretty simple one. Again, you'd want a host and ideally for this type of event, you'd want to have as many rookies as possible. That's one rookie. Yeah, because more rookies means more bonus for you. Okay, I do not want to wait too long. Okay, great, three of them. But not a rookie, that's fine. Okay, let me just embark now. If I wait too long, they would leave the room. Okay, so let me try to get rid of this. Okay, now while I'm here, I might as well show you the game part of the game mechanics too, on how you fight manually. Remember guys, on farming events like this, you can just do an automatic fight. But as the fight gets harder and you're gonna fight tougher bosses, you should be doing this manually. You can use skill and abilities. This one is pretty easy. You know, you can close your eyes and win in this fight. Okay. The third one is normally the toughest of the bunch, but again, this is an easy fight compared to the hammer one. You can see that there's this uh, green color do you see that? That's the enemy that you're targeting. And if it turns red again, it means that the enemy is targeting you and it's time for you to dodge or run away. Because the enemy also has long range. And here, since we are playing multiplayer, okay, see here we got the large purple crystal. This is for augmentation, which is very nice, a lot of them. Okay. So here, multiplayer, you are going to be able to follow them. When you are following them mutually, right now I haven't followed anyone, but ideally you, you want to have a mutual follower, so you follow them and then they follow you. So when that happens, there's going to be an additional reward as you play more often with them. So this kind of getting sidetracked. Okay, I followed both of them. Yeah, so this is where you're going to be spending most of your time to, to improve your team. So that's the slow way. And the fast way, before I talk fast way, let me talk about this mutual followers too. You can check whether somebody is mutually following you or not from here. Can view following. So basically this is you're just following them, but they are not following you back. And you can probably just unfollow them later on, just have people who mutually follow, because there's gonna be an additional reward here when you're mutually following each other. And now, now we are talking about the slow way through farming. You have to grind the materials needed to augment units. So like face here. Okay, I got 24, so I need to augment a lot more with face here 
and over here you can see that yeah face face is a non ace unit he requires fewer materials to augment to increase the cap level so this one here 50 15 and 3 compared to Maria here if you are to augment Maria you will need 130 and 6 that's double because of course ace unit is a lot better yes guys okay so if you wanna spend next few days to level your unit that's the way grinding but if you just wanna do it in a few hours there's another way here you have to buy it in the item shop well remember just do this for one of them sometimes they have a really good one but all you need is just one strong unit to be able to allow you to be in the game to like this here let's see here I want to focus on leveling up sharpshooter I'm just gonna do it to level 60 there's this one here level 60 XP item it will boost the ace character to level 60 and it's only available once a month so I'm gonna use this they will give you 33 rara platinum prism of course you can get that in the game or by playing slowly but let's try to have it faster a lot faster so character we are gonna enhance this Maria with this raw platinum prism you remember 33 is all you need to level her up okay you just need 29 more and 8,000 left so I will augment her next okay and let's see here prism stone Okay, got all of them. Very cheap prism stone. Only over by, by 1998 there. Anyway, now this sharpshooter is already at level 60. I can augment her to increase her level. You can see here, let's see here. It will improve her talent. Damage dealt 3% and damage taken minus 10%. And you strengthen her by augmenting her. You'll increase the cap here. So let's do this. Well, it will improve her talent as well as give her new skill, Gravity Bullet. Okay, and you will need augmentation materials to do this. 103 and 6. It is going to take too long for you to farm, and this is how you can get it faster again in the item shop. There is the augmentation set here. Okay, remember that this augmentation set for 1500, just to speed things up, you can get this, 136 for 1500 gems. Well, I think it's quite expensive, but this game is pretty generous, at least in the beginning. So why not just exchange it for one character and then farm the rest, so you can be in the game, guys. So augment her. You need to have it at maximum level. Okay, and Aquaman. Okay, now you are at level 1 again, but the cap is 70. Okay. Now let's take a look at the character. You can see that the talent improves too. Damage dealt become plus 40% of the party. And damage taken is minus 20%, so it improves her greatly. And of course, now your job is to increase her level to 70 to be more viable. Let's see here, improve the status. Uh huh. Gonna use leftover from here, okay? I'm only at level 51. use all of them as much as possible uh 
Ah, uh, nice. 56. I guess this is as far as I can go with this unit. Unless, of course, I want to sacrifice the prism from other unit, but I think it's not cost effective or not efficient. Yeah, this should be should be sufficient enough. 57 after this. Okay, so level 57, so this is the character you have. So basically this is how you level up your unit, and then next you have to enhance your weapon, you have to spend your time to do the hammer mission. I've already did the enhancement for this weapon, Umbral Blast, earlier on through the weapon I get from equipments. Okay, I'm already at level 8. Okay, and of course, most probably there's going to be a trap mission in the event to improve accessory, but I don't do that yet. So that's at least how you can get your unit going there. And now you have built your own of a very decent team, decent unit, you can start fighting in the limited event with a tough boss like this one here, Crystal Guardian Elim. Elimination. And let's start with Misery 1. I'm gonna create a room. You know, if you are this week and you try to play multiplayer outside, you on joining other people's room, you'll most probably get kicked out because you are too weak. Therefore, in that case, you need to create your own room and use your own stamina so that you can contend in this fight here. Okay, this unit is level 70, stronger than me, that is fine, but if anything that is not too strong, then it's gonna be difficult for me to win. And the combat in this game is 70% about skill, 3% about luck, in which you need to pull the strong 5 star unit as well as equipments. You know, skill... You only know, only you know you are skillful enough to fight. All people can see is just the yeah. All they can see here is just actually the actual stats like level seventy, level eight, level ten Rigumaru, level ten Rigumaru. Yeah, that's all we can see there. And typically, if you're not strong like my unit there, when you join a room, the other party will just disband the lobby or quit that's what is definitely going to happen here and another reason why I want to use Maria or recommend use Maria is because for this particular event Crystal Guardian the enemy has a really 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 strong defense and this is where Maria comes in handy even if she's weak she has this rush again that will give you a critical hit chance plus 40% to the entire party for 20 seconds so that will bypass the defense from the enemy there Ooh. somebody changed character to healer okay I definitely need one more earlier I was able to clear this stage with yeah, let me just dispend here. Maybe it's taking too long. Let me try to fight in misery. Maybe it's over already. About oh, three minutes. Let me fight in misery two instead of misery one. This is a much stronger one. Fifty stamina cost. If people are strong enough, they should still welcome me instead of kicking me out or ditching me around. Okay, great, level 10 Maria. Which means that my Maria is gonna be useless because of her. She also has the same critical hit, which can bypass the enemy's attack. Okay, let's begin here. Again, this fight is about skill, where you can dodge the enemy and try to bypass the enemy's attack by a critical one by dealing critical hit 
So the plan here is ideally okay. Look at that. There's a red color. Red color means that the enemy is targeting me, so I am going to do a run. That's how you play in this fight anyway. If you see red color, you run. And dodge him in. You know, like they say in the flash, run, Barry, run, 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 I'm gonna run. They can hit long range attack too, so you definitely need to be careful of that long range attack. And if you hit enemy like this, like I do, I'll be able to gain my rush dodge and then give a team a head start. And don't want to stand too close to enemy who is getting targeted, definitely. So she's waiting for me. After the third character has rush, I'm gonna rush first. And then there's also a co something called rush combo. It's a good thing that they don't rush because like, I'm trying to open the road for them to remove their critical hit and they can rush. Well, this is stage 2. They do not want to do that. That's fine. I thought it's level 3 where you def need a definite rush. First thing I'm going to do is run. Okay. Oh, okay. Remy rush there. I don't know if she can bypass the attack, okay. A very low rush damage, you can see. But there is some critical in it, therefore you can see it higher. Invoker, this is a Muria, Invoker has a really high damage. So 200,000 damage when you bypass the defense, compared to the previously to previously just like a few hundreds. Now we are dealing critical hits there, as you can see. I'm trying to get gather as much rush as possible. And paying attention to the arrow, right now it's yellow. Once it's high enough, I'm gonna rush for the critical hit. I'm gonna wait for other team too. By the way, there's a thing called collateral damage. If I'm not careful when the enemy is targeting somebody else, I can get hit. Oh man, I made a mistake there. She said I'm going alone through the emoticon because she's gonna open the road for both of us actually, so that they can deal critical. Okay, so this hit should be a critical now, we should deal more than just a few hundred. Okay, 16,000, 3,000, 9,000. And the invoker should hit a lot more damage. Oh, look at that! 500,000 damage, just because she bypassed the critical hit. Yeah, see, even if you're a weak team here, if you create your own room and you're bringing the right unit, you can still be useful in terms of the rush gosh there. Okay, okay, hopefully she doesn't rush. I'm gonna rush first to open the road for her. Anyway, the boss is dead. So this is another reason why I want you to choose Maria because of her critical buff with her rush mode. Everybody thinks they have won, but we won now. And she is really useful in this particular fight due to her, her rush, which will allow critical damage or else it's gonna take hours. Without Maria around, it's gonna literally take hours to complete this fight. So you got your rewards, and this is where you can exchange the rewards for your hard work in the trial. So all of this, I can change it, and the particle trial gives you the reward for there, crystal coin exchange. And you should be getting this L limit breaker when you can, very rare, as well as AP star seed, also very very rare, it costs a lot of jobs.
basically I've covered most of the things you need to know as a beginner when you're starting out and there's just this one thing left called Enchanted Tablet Exchange. Basically this one should give you a 5 star ace character ticket if you use exchange it and over here you can use this to summon a 5 star ace character. Remember that there are two types of 5 star unit, the ace and the non ace and this will guarantee you a 5 star one which has a stronger stance. And you can get this enchanted tablet by using the draw so basically it's 1000 you get one enchanted tablet per 1000 draw and you can see here in the draw there's a sign called bonus included what it means is that it means that you have an incentive to pull for at least 15,000 draws to get that 5 star ace ticket and this is what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna draw one more here just for the sake of getting Summer Muria she is pretty nice to have since I've already pulled the weapon just for the sake of getting that additional 5 enchanted ticket I'm gonna skip all and there isn't any Summer Muria, but there is a new 5-star base unit called Fidel. 40 unit figure, attack plus service center party, very nice. AP cost 15%, very very nice. Ethereal Blast, unfortunately, well, there is a weapon there for him that like, he can use, I suppose. Yeah, speaking of combat, just let you know that it is the ethic for you not to use auto on misery bosses because it's a way for you to get blocked by other multiplayers because again when you're autoing you're wasting other people's stamina if they lose the fight of course you're just gonna be a dead weight so you use your own stamina guys anyway that's it for me i hope this guide is gonna be helpful for you in having a strong start with your team and definitely hope that you'll have the luck too so thank you for watching guys i hope you are gonna be as lucky as what i've shown here in terms of pulling for weapons and units good luck guys bye bye